Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the next segment where we are now going to be defining our material properties. So if we're looking back at the original problem, it asked for a modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascals. So we know that that's going to be something like steel, right? So go to your material properties tool in your modeling tools, selector, right click, brings up this menu again. Um, I know this is getting a little bit repetitive, but I mean, if you're following all my videos by now, you've done it three or four times, um, you should be quite fluent with it. So that's kind of the purpose of this. I know I'm going a little bit, a little bit slow for some of the, some of the uh, older users, but I mean, it's all practice, right? So click on steel. We got a Young's modulus of 200 gigapascals, um, kilonewtons per meter squared. So it'd be 200 times 10 to the five, I believe. Um, and shear modulus, again, because we're dealing with truss instead of a beam, um, that isn't going to matter because when we run the analysis, since we all have truss members, it's going to jump over looking for the shear modulus. Um, I'll show you, I'll run it as a beam and as a truss later on, and I'll show you what FYIs we get when we uh, run our analysis. So select steel, update, close, M1, M1, M1. That's good because we look at the very top here and it says our M1 is steel. That's what we just selected. So let's just, if we wanted to do three, if you had different sections or different materials for different members, you would just click on it and now see it updated as M3. These ones are still M1 and M1. So let's just change that back to M1. Now it is again steel. Save. Okay, so that was good. The next uh, segment we're going to be defining our support members and then I'll do the loads as well because support members are going to, or the supports are going to be quite uh, quick. 